Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Friday. We got seven matchups on this NBA slate today. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And uh, yeah, let's hop into it. We got seven matchups, starting with the Orlando Magic versus the Toronto Raptors. Raptors opening up as eight point favorites with the over under at 210. You can get the Raptors on the money line at minus 350. Orlando plus 280. The last 10 to head to head Toronto 10 and 0 against Orlando. That's pretty, kind of pretty crazy to me, honestly. Um, uh, Orlando 0 and 9 covering against Toronto. 1 and 11 in their last 12. 1 and 7 on the road. Toronto 6 and 0 covering at home against Orlando. Um, but neither team, you know, playing that great to start the season. I mean, both teams not playing the best. Um, pretty young teams. Yeah, a lot of young teams on here. Uh, Orlando had that loss against Charlotte, 121-11. Then that 107-90 loss against Miami. Toronto did pick up that 118-100 win over Indiana. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm eight points. I know it's the magic. I'm not really in love with this matchup here, but uh, I think I'm going to take the points with Orlando plus eight. Toronto's really been nothing special to be eight point favorites over anybody, honestly. I mean, they do have a win over Boston, but I mean, Boston's pretty bad to start this season. The losses over Dallas and Chicago, you know, Washington. Um, yeah, eight points is too much. As bad as the Magic are, give me the Magic plus eight here. Next match, the Indiana Pacers versus the Brooklyn Nets. Nets opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over-under at 223. The last 10 matchups head-to-head. -head. Both teams are five and five. Um, Indiana, one and four in their last five against Brooklyn. One and four covering the spread in those five games. Brooklyn, one and six covering at home against Indiana two and five in their last seven and you know brooklyn i mean they got stomped out by miami didn't really look that great there brooklyn has been pretty spotty to start the season i mean i didn't think i never would have thought they'd be two and three to start the season um pacers aren't really playing that good of basketball here um coming off a loss of toronto and milwaukee yeah you know i picked brooklyn to cover the spread last game against miami and that dish didn't work here I just think it's a different, a good statement game. Coming off that Miami loss, Pacers coming off a bad loss too. I just think Brooklyn's way more talented and um, going to take Brooklyn minus eight and a half here. I think they're more of a money line play. I think should, they should be able to be able to handle this Pacers team. We've been seeing all season. These The NBA is absolutely insane. I mean, it is super hard to bet on. You have big favorites just outright losing. It's it's just it's just crazy. Like ten point favorite teams just losing outright, very tough. Uh, so that's why I do love any team I'm picking. I'm probably not even touching spreads on any picks that I do. Honestly, I do strictly money lines, and then I'll do teasers. But if I had to pick, we'll take Brooklyn minus eight and a half. I could definitely see them having a statement game here, winning by like 15, 20 points. But uh, yeah, we're gonna roll with Brooklyn here on both sides. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Portland Trail Blazers. Blazers opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 223 and a half. You can get the Blazers on the money line at minus 145. The Clippers plus 125. The last 10 head to head Clippers, eight and two. Uh, seven and three covering the spread in those 10. Clippers coming off that. I mean, they had that game against the against the Cavs. Clippers just got manhandled uh, against Cleveland. They were eight point favorites, and they could and they just they lost by what thirteen points. I mean, man, this is the NBA is nuts. Uh, Portland had a nice win over Memphis. That was a good win for uh, Portland there. Um, man, what can we make of this Cleveland team or of this um, Clippers team? Um, I have no idea, but. These teams did just meet a couple games ago, two games ago, and Clippers won 116 to 86 over Portland. So, I mean, man, what does that even tell you? Clippers on a seven game winning streak against Portland, five and two on the road against Portland. Um, 
yeah, I hate that the Clippers lost to Cleveland here, but I think it's a great bounce back. They've already beat Portland. Clippers and Portland are going to be the teams this year where they, they're going to have horrible losses, but they're going to have huge wins. And they've already beat this Portland team by 20 points. Portland's probably the most spotty team in the league. They will literally win by 30 or lose by 20. There's just like no in between. It's very crazy. Uh, I'm taking Clippers plus the points here. Already beat Portland by 20. Coming off that, I would say, embarrassing loss to Cleveland here. I think it's a good bounce back for the Clippers here. Next matchup, we have the Sacramento Kings versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Kings opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 220. You can get the Kings on the money line at minus 130. Pelicans plus 110. Um, yeah, Sacramento coming off. I was watching the game live. They had the buzzer. They had the game winning shot over Phoenix, 110 to 107 from Harrison Barnes. That was a crazy game. That was a game I live bet, and I had the Suns plus three and a half. So I snuck out with the greatest cover ever so i'll take it pelicans man they've been pretty awful this season i mean hard to trust the pelicans they just look like a mess sacramento i just think they have all the momentum going into this game coming off a game winner they can score i mean sacramento can score despite what the record might be this season they can score with the best of them they really do they're a fast-paced team uh De'Aaron fox barnes buddy heel just wet a sniper from three um yeah pelicans really don't have any options on offense besides ingram and ingram hasn't been playing all that great give me the kings on the small spread we'll take them on the money line as well all right guys next matchup we have the charlotte hornets versus the miami heat heat opening up as six point favorites with the over under at 221 and a half the last 10 head to head both teams five and five charlotte four and one in their last five they have struggled against miami a bit just five and ten in their last 15 against miami uh miami uh you know ten and five covering against the eastern conference they have been able to cover miami coming off that huge brooklyn nets win um got a nice little two-game winning streak going on a little win over orlando and Charlotte coming off the 120 to 111 win over Orlando here. Um, yeah, two really good teams here. Charlotte, what a surprise Charlotte's been at the start of this season, playing really good basketball. Um, yeah, you know, I think I like Charlotte plus the points here. I mean, both teams have been playing really good here. Um, six points against this good Charlotte team. I think that's too many points. I'm going to take Charlotte plus the points in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Mavericks versus the Denver Nuggets. Nuggets opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 220 and a half. The last 10 head to head, both teams five and five. Um, Dallas does have some injuries here. We see uh, Porzingis and Boban are questionable for Friday's matchup. So be sure to check that out. And then Nicole Jokic is questionable for Friday. Mavs currently on a three-game winning streak, coming off some pretty good wins against the Spurs, the Rockets, and Toronto. And then Denver coming off a two-game losing streak against Utah and Cleveland. Dallas 13-6 and six on the road. 5-2 um, and two covering the spread against Denver here. Uh, Denver struggling right now. 1-6 and six covering at home against Dallas. One and seven covering in their last eight overall. Yeah, you know, give me Dallas plus the points here. Just plus the point and a half. Um, Dallas has been playing really good on a three-game winning streak. Denver, you know, got that two-game losing streak. Haven't looked great here in their last couple games here, uh, especially in that loss to Cleveland. I like the way the Mavs are playing. Give me the Mavs plus one and a half. And then the last matchup, we have the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over under at 219 and a half. The last 10 head to head, both teams five and five. Um, Cleveland, I mean, man, Cleveland on a three game winning streak right now. Started out 0 and 2, but they really turned, really turned things around this last week. Lakers coming off that disappointing loss against the Thunder, a t- 
17 they were up by 30 plus on at one point in the game and let OKC come back and beat them um, LeBron James is questionable he did miss last game uh, we'll see if LeBron does end up playing but uh you know, Cleveland has struggled against the Lakers, 1-5 in, in their last six against L.A., 3-6 and six covering against the Lakers. Uh, Lakers, 0-5 oh covering at home. Look, Cleveland, man. Cleveland aren't, like, uh, just a joke. They're a nice up-and-coming team. Their roster is really nice. Their big man rotation they're running seems to be working now. Quality wins over Clippers, Denver, Atlanta, uh teams they were they were straight up underdogs eight plus eight to nine point underdogs in all three of those matchups and they've won outright on those games um how can you trust the lakers give it up you know coming off that loss against the thunder even if lebron james does play this cleveland team they've been on a nice little three game winning streak and um the last three games they've covered nine point favorite nine point underdog spreads which they pretty much are right here at eight and a half until man until you can really trust the lakers here eight and a half points is too much from this cleveland cavaliers team that has been playing very good basketball give me the Cavs plus the points that's going to be it for the video good luck with your picks and parlays on friday and i'll see you guys saturday have a good one